Hey everyone, welcome to Jira Service Management Tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to cover the brief walkthrough of the Jira Service Management after we signed up, right? So in the last tutorial, we learned the basics of service management and how to sign up for the free account for Atlassian Jira Service Management tool, which is cloud-based. And once you sign up, you will be landing up to this particular page, right? And we have, during the sign up process, we have created this RCV Academy IT Service Management project as well. And you will see a demo service project as well now if you see the look and feel okay so if you see the look and feel is almost very close to what jira is because the platform of jira service management is the jira core itself right so you'll see a lot of similarities and learning will be absolutely easy in that perspective okay so the first thing if we go to the projects right so if you go to the project you will see that we have the jira project as well here so if i go to view all project you will see this was the old jira uh, software pro project and then we have these this is the project that we created during the sign up which is service management and then there is a demo service management project for through right so if we go ahead to our project and let's see some of the important features of jira service management and a brief walkthrough what all details will be available right so at the top you will see you will be able to see the work right so now because there is a if you go here you will see that there are multiple instances i have access to confluence work management service management jira software so because there are multiple applications that are available that for this particular uh, person the the person has logged in right and that is why i'm getting access to other applications as well so in the your work you will see the access or basically the work for all different applications that you have so if you have jira software you will see there if you are part of the jira service management pro project you will see the work here as well accordingly now in the project you will see all the projects that are there right so you'll see the service management project and the jira software project as well now if you go to more you will see the filters which is absolutely similar for jira software and service management you can filter the issues based on different queries right in the dashboard you will see different dashboard so you can create a custom dashboard or the default dashboard in the people check you will see the people or the team you can invite more people to jira right or you can create a team and then add those members to the team and in the apps is what you will get the application so basically applications from the jira marketplace and then you can explore and install more applications for a particular instance right and you can use it in your project right so this is a brief about the header walkthrough in the right hand side you will see that you you have these ellipses here and uh, uh, not ellipsis, ellipsis the cogwheel and the cogwheel you'll go through and you'll see the settings so settings are absolutely project issues app system product settings and then the personal settings account settings and the jira settings and then you have the user management and billing for the jira cloud instance in the extreme right hand side you will see the account right how you can manage the account basically so you can manage your profile and profile picture and everything uh, is available here pretty simple option in the search this is the quick search so you can quickly search for any of the issues from this quick search now the important part here in jira service management is when you go to the service project you will see different options here right so first thing you will see the queues you have raise request and then you have this knowledge section right so you will see that we have this knowledge section and we have channels and people and then shortcuts right so if i go ahead from the top so in the queues if i go ahead and click on the queues you will see the queue is nothing but what all work is requested by the service management team right so now this particular project which is it service management project is a project say for example as an rcv academy i want to get or i want to give access or a widget or email id to a customer to a particular set of customer or to wider audiences and they can send me the queries right so how will they send the queries they, uh, they can either email they can either on our website they have a small widget wherein they can ask a question so they can provide their question their name and their email and submit and then that request will be available here and i'll be able to see here in the all open assigned to me and assigned so this is basically how the request will come to the service management project and this is kind of a back end right to service the requests that are submitted by the customers of any project right end user okay so when anyone looking for the service request something they can submit the request and 
those requests can then be fulfilled by whom? Fulfilled by the people who are working in that particular project who can actually solve their problems or provide the services or provide the devices, for example, in IT service, right? So if a new employee joins, a new employee will simply have a simple form to access or to provide the details of the laptop the configuration that they are looking for and submit the request that request will go to whom to the it department which handles laptop issuance installation of the software everything and then they'll configure it and send that item or provide that particular laptop to the person who has requested it right and when the person will request the request will come in the queue for example first thing will be all open and then the next when somebody starts working on that laptop preparing the laptop configuring it then it will be assigned to a particular person or assigned to you for example you are working on it within the IT team and then whichever issues are unassigned will be in the unassigned issues queue right so this is about the queue if I go back in raise a request right so if you go to raise a request this is what customer will see right this is how the person say for example I join a company and I'm requesting something I'm submitting a request or an incident I'm asking a question I will see this particular portal of Jira service management you'll see that powered by Jira service management and this is what end user will see okay now when I click on submit an incident or request you will see the form opens and it will be having the email on behalf of or I, I can basically search for my user ID okay based on this I can simply search for the user ID and choose my user ID here I provide the summary details and then send this particular request now as an end user if say for example this is first service request for laptop okay so something i'm just providing in dummy summary there okay and then you will see that automatically you know there are suggested articles which i'll talk about that the, the articles can be written which will automatically be popping up here so if there is something quick that can be resolved you can write an article on it and that will be available to the customer so you so they can self serve themselves by reading those articles if not then the customer will basically go ahead and provide the details and send this request right so now i'm acting as a customer i have sent the request right so now if i go ahead and see the request you will see created by me and all which is basically if i go to all you will see the request that i created is available for me on the customer portal right this is my portal the customer portal now if once this is submitted who will work on it the team the service team will work on it right so what is the service team so there will be team members in the rcb academy it service and this is the back end that they'll be seeing right this back end this is screen that you see so you'll see the immediately this particular request is available here okay so if i go to queues again then you'll see that unassigned issues is now one and all open is one okay so you'll see first service request for laptop is available here now this can be managed and worked within the service team as soon as this particular is resolved this will basically move to the workflow accordingly and get resolved okay so this is briefly about queues and how you will be raising the request i'll be talking about more about raised request and different channels how the request can be raised in upcoming tutorials now the next thing is knowledge base right so when when you see that i was trying to create a request so for example I go again okay and go to help center and the project and then so in this project I want to create as a customer I want to create a request and as soon as I say for example type in something you will see these articles appear right so these articles are what they are the knowledge base articles that the team can write or the service team can write say for example very common password issues are faced right or computer lock issues are faced how can customer reset their password by using self-service so you can write an article on it and that will immediately appear here so any password related issues that customer that are common they can read and resolve themselves and your team won't be bombarded by those sort of issues that are very commonly faced by the teams they can be self-resolved and then if I go back here so that's what knowledge base and in the reports you will see the different reports so what workload report are how much work is there right uh, and then you know what is the customer satisfaction so if you go to the satisfaction what is the rating of the team how satisfied the customer is for the request how many requests are deflected how many requests resolved right and then average time spent these are all the reports reports available here now if you scroll down you will see different channels team and customers right 
right so if i go to channel so channel is this channel this is the one channel right this is what the this is basically a web page that a customer can use to submit the service request right now there are multiple other channels the customer can email right so i can go ahead and email as a customer on this particular email and a ticket should get created in the project rcv academy it service then you have this help center so this one is help center okay then we have this widget that can be embedded into any website right so we can configure the widget and that can be turned on as well then you have the chat option as well that can be configured and i'll be talking about all of the channel in a dedicated video how you can configure different channels okay then you have this invite team so basically you can have different more agents so who will be working on the service request the agents the team members right so team members are the agent in any service project so they are agents and you can add the email of the agents and you can invite the people to join this particular team say for example the it service desk right so it service desk has there will be a service team for just issuing the laptop configuring the laptop so there are 10 members working on it say for example those members can be can then be added to a particular it service team or doesn't matter how many members are there they all the members you can provide the email and add those members into your team and they'll be then you will be able to assign work to them and that can be fulfilled then we have the customers so what are the customers so customers is the person who can submit the request right so at the moment this form is configured in a way that anyone who has access to this form will be able to submit the request but you can restrict the specific customer so for example you only want that this particular from this particular customer this company only five people should be allowed to raise a request depending on what the contract says accordingly you do not want to open this portal to everyone to submit the request right so in that case you can go ahead and change the permissions basically add organizations and add customers right for example ibm is is one of my customers so i can add the organization ibm okay as a customer and then within that i can add the customers who can raise the request on the ibm's behalf all right then you have certain shortcuts uh, if you go to the shortcut you will see add a shortcut okay you can specify that i'll talk more about that then we have the project settings which we'll discuss in much more detail what all customization we can do from the project point of view in jira service management right then we have option for uh, feedback etc right but these are the key areas that you need to remember for any jira service management project basically right so this is the it service management if you are creating another project say for example the hr project so if i go to create project and then you will see at the moment i am getting the template software development as well because jira software is also available for me in the products here right so if i simply want to get jira service management template i click on jira service management and then i can go ahead and go to human resources and i can simply say hr service management okay and then use template and i'll say rcv academy hr okay and this is the hr team and then simply create project so this is the administrator creating another service management project which is hr or cv academy hr wherein hr request any queries to hr any request to hr will be raised by the employees and hr team will then fulfill those requests right so this is again you'll see all of the options are absolutely similar so queues raise a request right so because service management is almost similar in most of the domain so you'll see the there is a knowledge base there is report there is channels teams etc so all the different project will have almost similar sort of options and this can be customized for a specific team and when you use the template specific to hr it is kind of already customized for example the workflow for hr service management is already customized as per hr workflow for sales is already customized as per sales team okay so this is brief introduction about the jira service management and a little bit detail about some of the key options in the next video we'll deep dive into more details of using jira service management so that's all for this tutorial